Your Honor, opposing counsel, members of the jury, Hayden Duran saw the signs and failed to act. Today, you'll hear the tragic story of two 11-year-old children, Sydney Park and Jesse Duran. On August 18, 2010, Jesse Duran shot and killed Sydney Park. Ms. Park's only child. Today's case will be a little different than what you're expecting because we're not here to talk solely about Jesse's actions on that day. We're here to talk about Jesse's mother, Hayden Durant, and how she saw the signs of Jesse's violent behavior leading up to August 18, 2010, how she failed to address it, and how she failed to notify Ms. Park. You'll learn in today's trial that Hayden Durant saw these signs and failed to act. That is why we are here in court today. We, the plaintiff, are suing Hayden Durant for the wrongful death of Sydney Park through what is known as negligent parental supervision. Now, today's trial is not a, a criminal trial, it's a civil trial. This means that we, only, we have to prove the following three elements to be more likely than not true. One, Hayden Durant failed to properly address Jesse's violent behavior. Two, on August 18, 2010, Jesse acted recklessly. And three, Jesse and Hayden Durant's actions were both the direct and proximate cause of Sydney's death. When we say direct cause, this means but for Jesse shooting Sydney, Sydney would still be alive today. And proximate cause means that it's foreseeable something like this can happen when you see the signs and fail to act. The evidence in today's case will show that Jesse first began playing violent video games at the young age of 10. You'll hear how Jesse then began drawing pictures of herself, pointing guns at other children. The evidence will show that Jesse then began starting fights at school, punching, kicking, even biting other students. The signs of violent behavior that you'll see today are the same signs that Miss Park was, not, was never notified about. But Hayden Duran was. Hayden Duran saw these signs of violent behavior and failed to act. So Jesse's behavior continued to get worse. On the day before Jesse shot Sydney, she told her mother, I want to play with a real gun. I want to see what a real gun feels like. Hayden Duran, knowing that Miss Park owned a gun, walked Jesse over the next day, failed to notify Miss Park about Jesse's interest in real guns, and that day Jesse shot Sydney Park. This is a tragedy, members of the jury. Nothing that we say or do will bring Sydney back to her mother. But it's important to remember that this tragedy could have been prevented. Prevented by Hayden Duran. Hayden Duran had the signs in front of her. She saw the violent behavior. When she saw the signs, she failed to act. To prove this to you today, we the plaintiff will call three witnesses. First, we will call Shannon Ellis, Jesse Duran's school teacher. Now, Mr. Ellis will take that stand, and he will tell you about the picture that Jesse draw, drew. He will tell you about the fights that Jesse was getting to with other students in school. He will tell you that during parent-teacher conference, he presented these warning signs to Ms. Duran. And when she saw these signs, she told him that I'm tired of people telling me something is wrong with my child. Second, we will call Dr. Campbell Solo, a psychiatrist who specializes in how children's behaviors are affected by their parents. He will tell you in detail how these warning signs progressed over time and how each and every time a warning sign was presented, Hayden Duran saw it. And each and every time she saw it, she failed to act, and Jesse's behavior continued to get worse until August 18th. Lastly, we will call Miss Park, and she will recount August 18th for you. She'll tell you how her daughter died. She'll tell you that before that day, herself and Hayden Duran spoke frequently, but Hayden Duran never brought up her child's behavior. At the end of today's trial, my co-counsel will come before you. She'll show you the signs that Hayden Duran saw. She'll show you how Hayden Duran failed to address it and how she failed to tell Ms. Park about it. 
shall ask that you find Hayden Duran liable for Sidney's death. Because Hayden Duran saw the signs, but she failed to act. Thank you. May it please the court. 